So continuing from my NASCAR Authentics uh, Wave number 6 review, I said in that video, I only got, uh, or there are only two cars that I were missing, and those were the ones that were the most desired ones out of all of them. That being Haley Deegan's Mer Meridia win, and Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s Hellman's car as well. So, um, I just went off to Walmart, and I was actually looking for Wave 8. And possibly Wave 9 for NASCAR Authentics. And I stumble upon these cars right here. The two cars I was missing. And I know for darn sure. And honestly, I thought that I was going to most likely have to buy the Dale Jr. car from um, the Gold Series version. And I'm most likely going to get, I'm most likely gonna have to get the Haley Deegan win off of a scalper or something like that. But hey, I need to do that. As you can see right now. As you can see. Right here in my possession, I have Haley Deegan's number 19 Meridian win. And I got Dale Hart Jr.'s Hellman's Mayonnaise Darlington Throwback. So, without that being said in mind, let's just get straight into the video. Let's just uh, talk about the cars themselves. So, the first car that I want to talk about is... Um... Dale Hart Jr.'s number eight Hellman's um, Darlington Throwback. This is from 2019. He ran this in the Darlington race, and um, yeah, so um, yeah, so a pretty cool looking uh, car. But before we take a look at the car, here's a look at the magnet right here. Hellman's Real Mayonnaise Junior Motorsports number eight. Dale Hart Dale Hart Jr. Signature. Just got NASCAR Authentics on the back right there. So, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And so, yeah, here is Dale Jr.'s number eight Hellman's Chevrolet. This is obviously, this race was pretty significant. Um, this race and, you know, and the race weekend actually was kind of a sad one for motorsports. Um, Anton Hubot. Anton Hubot um, passed away on Saturday during an F2. Was it during an F2 practice race? So, um, yeah. And uh, it was a pretty depressing day for all motorsports. I remember that everyone paid tributes to respect. Except for NASCAR because NASCAR is just like, whatever, everything's happy and all this stuff. And honestly, I feel like that's kind of a big disrespect that NASCAR gave to Anton Hubot. I hope I'm saying his name right. I hope I am. But Anton, yeah, it was just a big, um, uh, it was just, they did not pay tribute to him at all. Like, seriously, I don't, like, like, and I guess you could say, well, he was well, it's not a NASCAR thing, but it's a motorsports thing. Like, God damn it, you know? I mean, okay, honestly, since NASCAR didn't give a crap about Anton Hubois, and the driver dies in, NASCAR, a big one, dies in, dies in NASCAR. Any other more forms of motorsports, don't pay tribute to him because NASCAR obviously doesn't just doesn't give a shit about anyone else, only but themselves. And they think everything is okay when things are not. I want a big old rant there, but let's just talk about the car itself. So yeah, Dale Jr. returned to the number eight car this weekend or that weekend, and he finished six. But Denny Hamlin got disqualified with the win, and Cole Custer got the win. So, uh, yeah, so Dale Earnhardt Jr. finished fifth in this race in the Hellman's car. And, yeah, it was a pretty cool, it was pretty cool to see Dale Earnhardt Jr. race again, and we know he's going to come back. And he's most likely going to race at Homestead, for that matter. I think he pretty much leaked it out, but it's going to be an exciting uh, race to watch, especially for me. Because I was a Dale Earnhardt Jr. fan. I still am, but he's still not racing to this day. But when he's racing, yes, 100% sure. But anyways, let's just take a look at the car here real quick. We got Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. We got the um, this weird-looking, um, I don't know what he called the shape, right there. It's yellow. It's like a baby blue sort of color. This is a Dale Earnhardt Sr. throwback to his dad's first cup start. In the, in, what was it, 1969 Coke 600, I think. But, uh, yeah, I got the Chevrolet Camaro front nose, the new one. And this nose has grown on me a lot. I remember saying that. Oh, my God, it's ugly. And, and in some cases, it, it still is. But I, I actually, 
I'm kind of digging it a little bit right now. And it's got Moog, Edelbrock, Sununko. We got Junior Motorsports. We got White right there in Goodyear. We got Goodyear. We got the Goodyear. Um, the got the Goodyear Eagle tires. You got the white rims, right there. And you got the Goodyear number one since this was, since um, the decade they were tri tributing back to was in the 1990s and the mid 2000 and the early 2000s. Anyways, you got Simpson, Duralas, Mechanical Wear, APP, k and Holly M M M S D, Mobile One, Xfinity, NASCAR race car. Um, I think that says Ed. Um, I forget. I don't know what that says, but I know that was the guy who owned the car that Dale Senior had in his first star right there. But he got the number eight right there. Brand Professional. Professional Agriculture, Hellman's, Real Mayonnaise, Goodies, Armor, Vanilla, Sausage. Uh, they got the North Carolina State Flag, Dale Jr., Junior Motorsports, Safety Clean. Got a bunch of sponsors there that I can read. Exalta, Cessna, Ulsco. On the deck, you got Briars, Shave Men. Some good shit right there. You got Hellman Mayonnaise. You got... Uh, Racing Electronics, I think that's Bosch, Mechanical Wear, the Camaro um, back, the Camaro tail, uh, tailpipes, and the taillights, got number 8 right there, pretty cool looking number 8, you know, and it's the same thing on the other side, and that's what it looks like underneath the car, so that is Dale Jr.'s um, number 8, and this right here I think is the holy grail of this NASCAR Authentics Wave. This is Haley Deegan's number 19, Mobile One, Napa Power, Toyota Camry. But this is her race win version. The car that she raced in to get her first NASCAR Canon West Series win. Right here. So there you go. There's Haley Deegan. Or the rest of the car. I'll go over the car in a little bit. But this right here is a holy grail. This is a NASCAR Authentics exclusive. So, if you see this in the store, if you see it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. I don't care if you're a Logano fan. I don't care if you're a Kyle Busch fan. You got to get Haley Deegan right here because I think Haley Deegan is going to be – I think she's very important to NASCAR. I think she could be more popular, one of the most popular drivers out there when she makes it in the cup. Hell, if Chase – hell, if – hell, when the time she makes it in the cup – she, I think she should be competing for the most popular driver, driver title against Chase Elliott. Because I want someone else other than Chase just to win that damn popular driver reward. Anyways, right here we got the car. We got race one version. Meridian trophy right there. You got the car in the background. You got Haley Deegan right there in victory lane. Got her unique looking logo right there. It was the Napa Hearts Idaho 208. It says winner Meridian Speedway Idaho. It's September 29th, 2018. This was the day before the Roval, actually. So that's actually pretty cool. Date September 29th, 2018. Our race, one hour and three minutes and 47 seconds. Starting position fourth. Total laps, 208.52 miles. Number of cautions, nine for 43 laps. Laps led by winner, one. She had to use them and she had to give the bump and run. On her teammate margin of victory, 0 0.329 seconds. Driver career win, first NASCAR Canon Pro Series win. Very cool right there. And so here is the car itself. Now this car right here, or the car itself, it's a 2014 Camry. The Canon, um, the Canon series is uses the old NASCAR Cup bodies. And I know for darn sure is this is a newer one. Because I know for sure, because I know when Lionel put the 2014 cars out, it was the WL mode, WLS mode, I think that was what it was called. And it was a crappy mode, you know, I think it was worse, it's worse than the PTC mode. That's why I know for sure. But yeah, this is pretty much an old cup car body right here. And you can just see there are so many scuffs and marks all over this car. It just looks so good. Like, look at that. Look at that. That is just, oh my god, that just looks amazing. So, yeah, um, here's something else. So, yeah, this was a pretty cool win. And 
Hey, hell, Helly Deegan is the future NASCAR right here, I think. You know? And plus, we need a driver like her who's not only a female, but is good. She's a good driver, you know? But really, most of her wins actually came from a, like, last lap pass, you know, stuff like that. You know what? I don't know. I mean, I feel like that, you know, Deegan, like, she'll win, like, a race maybe properly, maybe. I don't really know. But anyways, so let's go over the sponsors on the hood. We got Mobile One, Napa Powered Premium Plus. We got the Toyota Camry Front Nose. You got number 19, you got Mug, Mahal, Comp, Etalock, Sununko. A red splitter. You got the name of the race team right there. Of the race team right there. I don't know what it is. Same thing. You got Goodyear. Okay, I just want you to look at look at all these contingency sponsors. Like, my God, I missed the contingency sponsors. Like, dude. So you know what? I'm not gonna name them. Just see it for yourself. See how many you can name. So, yeah. Haley Deegan, right there. You got um, a couple stickers right there. Toyota, Mobile One, Napa. What is that? Coca-Cola? I don't even know. Got number 19. You got red and blue right there. You got Mobile One right there. TRD, Napa Power Plus Premium, 19. Petro Chase. And you got a bunch of Toyota logos right there on the hood. You got nothing on the deck loop, which I feel like that's where Monster is supposed to be. But, of course, we can't put Master on our little race cars. Little toy cars. You got the Toyota Camry back bumper, NapaFilters.com. All, uh, all about how you drive. Toyota and the rookie stripes number 19 because she was a rookie. Same thing on the other side as usual. And so for the race damage, the front is obviously dirty. This is really roughed up, scuffed up. Absolutely love it. Got a tire donut right there. Got the exhaust ports. More scuffs and marks right there. You know, the back doesn't look all that dirty, but then look at here. Tire donut. It's probably another one right there. And you got a bunch of little ones or ones that are about to form. Oh my god, that's just. Yeah, she was going all out. All out on those. On the on the other on the other uh draw on the other drivers. But um yeah, so there you go. That is the whole completion of wave number six from NASCAR Authentics. So now, um, yeah, so this is the two-parter for the NASCAR Authentics um, diecast review wave. So yeah, um, or for wave six to be precise. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below. What do you think of the cars? With that being said, I will see you all in the next video. See you guys later.